Hello and welcome to a, another cool smartphone unboxing. This time we're actually coming from the fair city of Belfast and we're doing this unboxing as part of Acer Live Blog 2016. So we have the much awaited Acer Jade Primo here. Uh, which I've been desperate to get my hands on properly since I first saw it at MWC. Um, so let's get into it. So, fairly nice box, uh, slightly odd plasticky material, but uh, nonetheless. Open it up, and we have the phone on top as always, uh, so we'll just pop that off to the side at the moment and underneath here we have a very very thick instruction booklet sorry let me just re-angle this camera slightly there we go so one of the thickest instruction booklets I've ever seen with a window with any phone, never mind a Windows phone underneath here uh, we've got some other bits and pieces so this is some more information, so you've got your SIM tools, a warranty guide, and again a quick start guide. Uh, so that was a safety information booklet, that first one. So we'll pop them off to the side. As I mentioned, you do have a SIM pin, as this is a sealed unit come back to that later and get it back in the box on the other side we have a little black box and in here we've got lots and lots of different bits and pieces so we've got some headphones uh, fairly standard looking in-ear style headphones with three and a half mil jack um, and I believe they may even have a push button mic let me just pull these out. Um, yes, push button mic just there. Uh, which will work with Continuum on the device. So we'll pop them off to the side for now. What else have we got in here? Apologies for throwing the camera on the floor. Um, USB Type C cable. Um, with USB 3 output. UK plug, European style plug, headphone adapters, and there was a plug socket somewhere. It went running when everything fell over. Um, in fact, it could be, there it is, it's in this other box here. So this is your charger. And we are looking at a very confusing charger, um, but it seems to have an output of 2 amps, 5.5 volts. So that just twists into place like that. Quite a compact charger. However, that's all well and good, but we, what we really want to look at is the phone itself. So let's just move all of this stuff out of the way. And we'll get onto the phone itself. Now, um, no sign of the dock, which is a bit of a shame. Um, however, that dock will allow continuum use. Um, and it works in a very, very similar manner to what we've seen with the Microsoft 950 XL. So the phone itself has a 5.5 inch AMOLED screen with a uh, 1920 by 1080 p resolution. Uh, two and a half D Corning Gorilla Glass, so it does curve around the edge slightly. On the bottom there, as I've already mentioned, your USB Type-C charger, microphone pinhole. On the side, we have our SIM card slot and memory card slot, volume up and down, and a power key. On the top, our three and a half mil headphone jack. There is also a top-mounted speaker up here and your 8 megapixel f2 over 2 wide angle lens on the back you have a 21 megapixel f2 over 2 
lens um, with a dual LED flash. Now I believe that 21 megapixel camera may be, indeed be a Sony sensor. Rear facing speaker as well which is designed to almost mirror the camera lens. Um, this is a unique signature of Acer's design. On the other side there we have nothing at all, completely blank. Um, other specs on the device, you've got 32 gig on board memory and 3 gig of RAM. It is a Snapdragon 808 processor, which is a hexa-core processor, the same one used in the 950. And you have also got 4K video recording on the rear-facing camera, 1080 on the front-facing camera, Wi-Fi 802.11ac, and CAT6 LTE, and also GSM and normal 2G banding. This device is um, currently not on sale yet. It's coming very, very soon, and the initially quoted price was 569 euros, which is going to work at around about 450 pounds UK. So let's power it on. Assuming it has some power in it, which it does not look like it does. So we'll we'll stop this video here, and I'll uh, come back to you with another video of it booting up.